Let's look through the psychology article to determine which parts are present. In this case, we have the title of the article, the author of the article, the affiliation of the author, and we have an abstract, none of which of these are labeled. Below the abstract, this article will have keywords present to give you an idea of what the article is about. If we scroll further, we will see the beginning of the body of the article, but also at the bottom of the first page, we have contact information for the author. Let's continue scrolling through the article. Notice on this particular page, we have an item cited in parentheses at the end of this paragraph. This is information that should appear in the references list at the end of the article. Notice there are several sections such as this one. A body may be divided into several different sections by topic. You will find that this is fairly common in articles. In some articles you will find specific examples listed. In this case it is labeled as a case example. Sometimes an item may not be con called a conclusion. In this case, a conclusion is listed as some reflections. And at the end of the article, we have references. The references here listed are items you may want to go to for additional information. These are items that are referred to somewhere in the text of the article.